think one of the biggest challenges in the smaller towns is they're still thinking it's 1997, not 2017. And in 2017, the world has become very geoagnostic. That's a fancy academic way to say people don't care where you live. Right. Uh, if you put up a Shopify store from your home, and I put up a Shopify store from Toronto, they have the same probability of getting customers. They have the same reach as getting customers. You no longer need to be in big population centers to justify your store's existence. So the long tail is now available to everybody. The other big change is because the customers are online, uh, you can find them online. Even if you're a bakery or you're a manufacturing, it's not just digital products. But also you can find partners and teammates and co-founders online. More and more, uh, we're investing in our fund uh, in, in co-founders that aren't in the same spot at the same time, as we would say, geo-agnostic and time insensitive. <laughs> and so you're able to leverage the quality of life you get from a small town, the, the great cost of housing, the great opportunities to have a balanced life, no traffic, but you're able to combine that without limiting your access to customers, without limiting your access to potential partners. And that changes the entire game. That changes everything because it really puts people on a level playing field when it comes to starting a new business.